Hey, what's going on everyone? Thank you for tuning in to another JD Channel video in which we got something special to show you that I got for the Civic. Let's check it out. So today, after waiting two days, which was really quick, I got my Honda to Flash Pro. It's a tuner for the Civic, so let's open it up and let's install it in my computer so I can tune the Civic. And let me go over what it does. So Honda to Flash Pro will allow you to do custom tunes onto your Honda vehicle. The thing is, this thing is chassis specific or ECU specific. So you do have to get one that works for your vehicle. Because sadly you can't use it cross-platform. This obviously is 06 to 211 Civic Si with the K20 Z3 ECU. I was going to say motor, but I know people who use this who have a K24A already. The carb one was only a little bit less than the race. The race lets you do full tune, so I went and opted for the race. You can data log with this. You plug it into your OBD2. Then you flash the ECU with the commands that you give it. You install it into a laptop or a computer. And then you can use it obviously like any OBD2 reader, except obviously you can record things, you can check parameters. And then if you have the Bluetooth app, which is the Bluetooth version, I think all the new ones are. You can see real-time data on your phone. Except in this case, I believe it's like a $9 app at the moment, and I don't know if I'm going to be buying it. So let me open it up and install into my laptop. So I turned it upside down, opened it up. Now let's unbox it. Obviously, it comes with the instructions, I believe, or well, one USB cable, quick start manual, and the programmer. Looks so simple in the box. Can't believe you pay this much for something that looks like this, but it's effective and it's supposed to be able to solve the problem I have. Get that out. Let's see the cable I need. Actually, is this. What kind of cable is this? Is this USB to USB? What kind of cable is this? Because I think I already have these cables. Oh yeah, so I have another one. I'm not going to open this because I have... I just got a new cable of this for another item I'm fiddling with. So I'm going to leave that sealed. Let's look at what else we got in the box. Alright, stickers as always. The transparent ones. Okay, so software is online. How do I install the drivers? Okay, just like any OBD2, you just plug it in, don't start it. <clears throat> oh, and then, oh, okay, so you lock it to your vehicle that way. So when you plug it in, it'll recognize the, the, well, not the ECU, the VIN. Because this thing is, once you lock it to the VIN, it'll let you program the car, and you do have to do one VIN at a time. So basically, you lock it, and then if you want to ever sell it, you unlock it. So they, somebody can use it on the same basic car. Okay, let's see here. So you don't start it when you flash it. Okay, now let's see. I'm kind of curious how this is going to go. So the first, let's install the software. So I guess I'm going to go plug this in and then it's going to look for the drivers. Let me go get my new cable. So it's pretty easy to tell the difference between the carb and the race version. The carb version has a blue casing where this portion that's silver or gray is blue. Whereas the race version it says racing only but it does have the car maps is gray. Then you're going to connect this to the tuner itself and then this into the ECU. Once I'm done downloading the software. So I got this new cable for my BMW one. Which it seems like it's the same one for the Flash Pro. Makes sense. 
This is a cable that people used to use for printers. So they're relatively cheap. The ones that come with these kits are usually really short, like the Onetto one is like three feet. This is a six footer. So I guess I'll use this for all my tuners, I guess. So plug it in to the laptop. Ooh, what's that? Stuff stuck in the lanyard. Then plug it into the Flash Pro and install the software. All right, so let's go to hondata.com slash software and go install. On the Honda site, after you tell yourself that you're not a robot, if you go to hondata.com slash software, which it'll automatically route you to here, after you hit I'm not a robot, it'll let you click the Flash Pro Manager or any other softwares that you needed. And then on the bottom here, you'll see the drivers. Just scroll down. And you need, obviously, the Capro drivers. Let me click this to install Capro Manager itself. And you have to have Kpro installed onto the computer before you plug in the USB. So obviously you're not going to kind of have an error message that says do not, you know, cannot find device. Because obviously if you plug in the Honda to Flash Pro before you install the software, it's not going to be able to use the drivers to find the device. Hold on, let me set up my folders. Alright, so software is loading. Hopefully this doesn't freeze because my computer's a little old. It's a calibration. I'm curious what's gonna happen here because it's still loading, I guess. Let me see what the help thing says here. Okay, one Let's see, so install software is installed, the USB drivers are installed. Flash Pro is plugged in before. Oh, okay. Alright, so let's plug it in. Since now I have the drivers and the software set up, let's plug this in. So use the printer cable or I think it's USB B, I think is what they call it. You plug it in here. So pretty much this is the first time. It's going to be used. Can do it one handed is not easy. Let's see. All right. So green light came on for power. All right. Okay, firmware has been upgraded. Cool. So it's upgrading the firmware. It's probably going to take some time when you first buy it. these features i know the early ones are in bluetooth i don't know if i really would have utilized it anyway because i'm not really after data logging but let's see so now i installed it so let's see here okay open flash for window follow your owner's information register it okay okay so let's register it you use the Honda to connect it to the laptop to lock the ECU. You don't just connect the ECU to lock it. Or not the ECU, the Honda to lock it. So I would have had to drag my whole laptop, which has a terrible battery, to the car. So I'm just going to type in the VIN manually. I'll be back with you in a moment as I type that in to lock it so I can do my tuning. So this gives you a disclaimer on how to unlock it, if your ECU gets damaged... Ooh, I guess Honda would do it manually if your ECU gets damaged, but you can unlock it via the online menu on the Honda Flash Pro Manager. Input your ECU, or sorry, you input your VIN and then it'll lock it on there. Once I lock it on there, I'll be able to tune and I'll show you what it looks like right after. Up. All right, so hit new calibration right here to begin. See what happens. I don't know what's going on here. Well, I guess it's slowly loading because my computer is old. Alright, so we have all these options here. Okay, so I have 
What intake do I have? Oh, AFE Takeda. That's what it is. Ooh. Let's start. Interesting. Let's do carb calibrations only. Let's see if it just shows it's here. EPA compliant. What the hell does it look like? Kind of curious what that looks like. Wait, where'd it go? I mean, can you at least show me what the details are? Because what I need to do basically is get rid of the rev hang. Turn to stock. So you have so many options here. Sensors. Where's that calibration menu? Maybe that's all showing me what exactly is going on in here. So, when I did new calibration, should show me things here. Huh. I think this is what it's looking for. I think that's a rev hang. So supposedly I've been told full throttle shift is what gets rid of the rev hang. Curious, and at the same time I'm kind of scared on what's going on here. But I mean, you tune this at your own risk, obviously, with Honda it tells you. Let's see what else we got here. I can control where the VTEC engages. Hmm, very interesting. Oh, and here's all the data from the throttle plate. Let's see. But I'm going to try to get rid of this. I'm going to see what this does. Alright, now we're going to send this map here. On the Flash Pro. There's nothing on it. Guess i got to upload this one. Oh, well, that's if it contained a... Let's see, so I guess you can add two maps on here. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, you know what? Let's save this just to make sure if this saved it correctly because I want to make sure. Yeah, save the calibration or save as. Let's see if this works. So I'm just trying to get rid of rev hang. I'm hoping this works. Rev carb. And now let's go back to the Flash Pro and upload that particular map. Oh, maybe it did upload that particular one. All right, well, let's see if it works. So now we're gonna flash it onto the car. The quick start instructions that come with it are not that good. I gotta admit that because it's not that specific. So I had to figure out how to send it to the Flash Pro as well as how to program the car. So I'll show you in a second how to basically tune the ECU. And I hope this works and I hope I got rid of my rev hang. I'm gonna drive it for a while after that and see if it does it again. 
There was a check engine light. That sucks, and I gotta figure out something else. So I'm back in the car, make sure it's in neutral, plug it into the OBD port, which is, like I said, slightly tilted on this side. I wish it was on here so it'd be easier to reach. So you turn your car on, on, and I'm basing this off of the better instructions I found on a different site. Alright, so now I have it plugged into the OBD2 port. And then, now we're going to turn this thing on, on. And then you hold this down for a few seconds to get it to program. And it'll start to blink. Alright, and then you'll just see the tack do its magic and pretty much go to red line. It's kind of entertaining watching this. Takes a few minutes. Look at that, it's about to run line. And there we go, the programming is done. All right, so remove it from the port and then you can start it up and, and give it a test drive. Okay, I got the tune on. Now go start off in fourth gear, see how it responds. After that test run it seems like everything's running okay with the tune you notice a difference right away so obviously I you know I find that it's a good buy and you know I'm happy with it let's see where things go with the mods on the Civic I thank you for tuning into another JD channel video and hope you enjoyed and take care